So you're just a hateful little Christian little piece of crap, aren't you? What the hell is wrong with you? What the suck, man? Did you get this shit out of your Bible or something? I know I'm like full of your so-called ad hominems or whatever. They're not ad hominem. They're definitely straight up attacks. You're a piece of shit. You're a Christian. You're a fucking delusional schizophrenic and you're saying all this shit on. What the hell gives you the right to know what a medical procedure is done to a, to a woman? What gives you the right to understand or do you even know that? Don't you understand doctor-patient confidentiality? And it, wait a minute. Now you're trying to say that the fetus is not part of the woman, not part of the woman's body. Are you fucking crazy? You're just stupid. Now you're just being stupid. Retarded is what you're being. I, sorry I use that word. I really. But it has nothing to do with it. your intelligence. It has to do with your ignorance. You're, you're just plain Christian moralistic bullshit. And you're probably one of those ones that think atheists don't have morals because we don't know a God. All that tells me is you all don't know right from wrong. We do. It's common sense. I know it's wrong to kill. I know it's wrong to steal. And we just know those things. It's just stupid because you don't. You're pissed. You're mad at yourself because you're intelligent and yet you're still delusional. Why don't you really think critically instead of stupidly? You know, take some real theology classes find out how old the earth is see if a man can live in a fish for three days if you believe one part of the fucking bible you gotta believe the rest of it don't do be one of these pick and choosers which you're probably gonna be because that's who you are you're just a little 20 year old piece of crap you're just a kid you say all these women are feminists i've experienced you just i can tell already you know you come up with that crap about it. You know, I really like your opinion on this. You try to be civil about it. And I know what's underlying. <laughs> She's not hiding anything from anybody. We know you. We know your face. And you're gay. Yeah. You are. <laughs> I guarantee it. I, get, I know. I can tell. Trust me. You're gay. <laughs> so you better start praying, dude. Trust me. It doesn't work either anyway. So, you know, people like you just uh, crack me out. So I make a video to answer and it's going to go out to my friends. You know, it's going to go out on YouTube. Trust me, whether you accept it, whether you want it on your video or not, I'm going to tell people you're the one I'm answering and what video I answered from. It'll be a link. So why don't you just go ahead and okay it and let other people hear me. Because if they, if, they, if they don't, then you're really not being as diplomatic as you think you're being. You're probably one of those ones that believes in religious harmony. <laughs> Which is, you're basic oxymoron. And <laughs> I'm done. You're just sick. You're just crazy. And I, I, I gotta send my sisters after you, all nine of them. Then you can tell them it's not, it's none of their business. It's not their right to have something done to their body. It's not their right to have a medical procedure on their own decision. They don't have the right to do that. Who are they supposed to ask? Huh? Who are they supposed to talk to about it? Their doctor. No one else. So how anyone else finds out other people are getting abortions? I'm not privy to that. I don't know. I don't get it. I, the whole thing is a right of doctor-patient confidentiality. Why no one sees that, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand that. Even Planned Parenthood has the right. I mean, they've got confidentiality too because their therapy, they have doctors, nurses, RNs. In fact, you can talk to the majority of doctors. Uh, they're not gynecologists, that's about abortion doctors. There's no such thing as an abortion doctor. There's no woman in the world who wants an abortion. Like I said, 
I have nine sisters. They're plenty of friends. Not one of them ever wanted to use abortion as a birth control. Just stop being stupid. You're assigning all this Rush Limbaugh and, and, and Glenn Beck crap to people. You're grown up listening to that crap and actually believing it. I don't get it. Go out and experience the real world. Why don't you go walk downtown and ask the women. Ask them yourself instead of all this gobbledygook you come up with. Reading your books. I mean, you know, go ahead and read. You got to read. I read. But you got to take things with a grain of salt. Oh, you're a hogwash about it. You have a, an actual argument that says the fetus isn't part of the woman's body. It grew right out of an egg, right from her uterus into the fallopian tubes, blah, blah, blah. What the hell is wrong with you? And what's this thing about, you, now you're now you're dissing hermaphrodites like they purposely wanted to be born that way or something? Like they went and got some kind of a half-assed sex change? What's wrong with you? Oh, I, I know. Never mind. That was a rhetorical question. Trust me. I know what's wrong with you. You're a fucking Christian. That's a sick position nowadays. You know that, don't you? The people that say they're Christian, they only say it for political expediency. Trust me. Like Barry, the president, the one that you don't think was born here probably. You're probably a birther too, a teabagger. Trust me. You, you just, you're so stupid when you talk. People listen to you, and they're out here to laugh at you, but you don't let the good comments through. I understand. You're scared. You don't want to hear the other side. You're scared. You should be. We're getting rid of Christianity, trust me. We're going to burn your fucking churches down. We're going to get rid of all your Bibles. In fact, every time I go to a library or I go to Borders or whatever, I go over and grab the Bibles and take them over to the science fiction section. That's what you ought to do. It's science fiction. It's a great novel, but how anybody could actually follow that heinous stuff, I don't get it. It's so pornographic, full of murder, rape, incest, pedophilia, and that's it. There's no real love in there. It's all punishment. And you people love that. I mean, you, you know, you're, what is it? What do they call it? Uh, original sin? <laughs> like every baby's born a sinner? You people are sick. And then you drag your children off to these places and let some old guy sit up there and or a young guy even or a woman who cares screaming at him, Man, Mary, you're gonna burn in hell forever and be tortured by the devil if you don't believe in Jesus. You're gonna you say that shit to a ten year old. You're sick, man. That's just sick. And then you think you, you have the right to know what a woman does with her body? Yep. You're a Christian, therefore your uh, opinions are now moot.